Okay, so this is where we left off in the last video where I gave you an intuitive understanding of what image histograms are, specifically for grayscale images and how to interpret them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your hands dirty and implement this image histogram from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to kill this guy, go away, and I'm going to wipe the code. So that we can start from a clean slate okay so as usual i am going to import cv2 and we will need um, some functions from matplotlib to be able to plot the graph okay so i will say import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay and I'm going to read in my image. I'm going to call it img is equal to cv2 dot im read. So I'm going to read photo.jpg as a grayscale image. So I'll say I am read grayscale. Okay, oh no, grayscale. Grayscale. Good. So, we have our grayscale image, and what I'm going to do now is to calculate the histogram for this image. But before I do that, you saw in the previous video that on the histogram, I showed the grayscale image on the left, and I showed its histogram on the right, okay? To plot such graphs, you need to use matplotlib. And um, because this is not a course about matplotlib, I'm not going to go into details, but I'll try to explain exactly what I'm doing. It is good if you know how to use matplotlib because um, you can't run away from it. It is almost a de facto standard when it comes to data analysis in Python. And for anyone who is interested in computer vision, machine learning, deep learning with Python, you definitely have to know matplotlib, okay? So I'm going to say plt, plt.subplot. And I'm going to say that I, will, I, I need to plot a graph that has one row, two columns, and now I am plotting on column one, okay? Because I am plotting two graphs on the same figure, and the two graphs make up one row. And each of the subgraphs is a column of the graph. So I'm so over here. I'm saying I want a subplot, one row, which has two columns, and now I am going to plot on the column one. So over here, let me say plt the title. I want to give the title, and I would say the title is grayscale image grayscale image and what i'm going to do here is i'll say plt dot i am show see so this matplotlib also has a function for showing images on um, a graph so i'll say e img that is what i, I did and i'll say c map is equal to gray i hope this is right so i'm, I'm basically telling matplotlib that i am plotting an image that is gray okay and um what else let's show this graph and see what we have so far so i'll say plt or show and if everything works as planned sorry if everything works as planned good so this is what we've done so far we just read the image and um we rendered it using matplotlib and the beauty of rendering your images on matplotlib is that as i move my mouse cursor you can see down here where i'm hovering that it will be showing the x and y coordinate of the pixel in the image so see and it is also actually telling me the pixel value so this is at x 192 and then y183 and the pixel at this point has a value 125 if i come here i should be getting into the darker sections so you can see that it is approaching zero you see 
it is the darker sections now if i come down here i should be in the bigger values because i am approaching white and these should be in the 200s because this is almost white okay cool so this just shows you how to plot and like i said i am plotting two subplots on one row this is column one and here is going to be the column two that is where we are going to calculate the histogram of our image and we will plot it here as well okay cool so let me kill this and let's continue with code okay so we are done with column one and now i can switch to subplot row one two columns column two and over here i will calculate the histogram by saying hist is equal to cv2 dot calc hist okay and from the intelligence you can see that it can calculate the histogram from a list of images and then you specify the channels in the image you are interested in a mask in this case you are going to do none i will teach you masking in a future video but if you supplied a mask it is going to calculate the histogram of the image after applying the mask to the image in this case we are not interested in applying um any mask um any mask okay and then the histogram um size and it also has a range a range here okay so the range is um the the, the possible values that your the pixels in the image can take okay and uh, his size is the bucket that you want to divide your histogram into like in the example that i showed you it was 255 because i mean we this is a grayscale image and it takes values between 0 to um it, it was actually 256 because it takes values between 0 to 255 so you use 256 to have 256 buckets on the x axis and then it will calculate the frequencies of the various pixel values or color intensities in the image so I'm going to say I am gene, so that is the image. I have put it in angle brackets because it is expecting it to be a list, okay? And this channels because it is um, a grayscale image, it has no channels, so you just have to put zero in there. And like I said, we are not applying any mask to our image before calculating the histogram and um, this is going to be we want um, a bucket of 255 and this is going to range between 0 and 256 okay so basically that is it and we can go ahead and plot this graph so i would come here and i would say plt dots x label that is the label i want to give to my x as is i'll call it pixel intensities and i'll say plt.x limb i want i want my x scale to be between zero and um two five five okay so this is 0 to 255. I hope I'm doing the correct thing. And then um, I'll say plt dot y label. I want the y label to be the frequency. Frequency. The frequencies. And um, I'm not going to put any limit there because it depends on how many number of pixels um, are appearing in the image so then the finally i can say plt dot plot and then i'll plot the histogram okay so yep and let me give it a title so i'll say plt dot title is equal to color histogram so if everything is okay with this code let's just run it and voila so i put it in full screen and you can see this is exactly what you saw when um, i was giving you an intuitive explanation of what a color histogram of an image is so 
over here you are seeing the color distribution you can see that this image has a lot more bright pixels than darker ones in fact it has very few dark completely black pixels and you can see that it has even fewer white pixels and it is evident when you look in the image you are seeing on the left hand side so i'll go back to the code and explain it once more so open cv importation as usual and because we, we needed to plot the graph and the image we had to import pyplot from matplotlib as plt okay over here we read our image as grayscale and then i created a plot that has two subplots on one row two columns and on the first column i gave it a title of grayscale image that is what you are seeing right here and after that i said plt.mshow show the image and cmap is gray because i'm plotting a grayscale image so that is what gave me what is here i didn't have to specify the y and x as this because it knows it from the weight and height of the image so clearly you can see that this is the height of the image that is 550 and the weight is almost 890 okay and so this deals with the first subplot and then i switched to the second column on the row and i calculated this is the most important thing you need to take note of so i calculated the histogram by saying i want a histogram for my image channel zero because it is um is a grayscale image it doesn't have channels none because i'm not applying any mask before calculating the histogram i want a histogram with 255 buckets and um, the values are ranging between 0 to 256 actually i think i made a mistake here it should be bucket of 256 ranging from 0 to 255 okay so take note of this correction let me kill this and um, verify that by running it again okay good so the bucket is the divisions that you will see down here i want it from 0 to 200 and um, 55 that is the pixel intensity the color values that the pixels can hold but the bucket is actually 256 because when you count from 0 to 255 you would have counted 256 times and like i did in the first one i give it um I, okay i didn't do this in the first one but you give the x label the x as a label and um, i give it a scale that runs from 0 to 255 and i give the y axis a label and now you plot your histogram that gives you the line chart of the histogram you are seeing there and i give it a title called um color histogram and now i call plt Dot show so take note that over here we didn't use cv2 dot i am show or cv2 dot weight key blah 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 because we are relying on matplotlib to plot our image and the histogram so take a look at it once more this is beautiful isn't it and then this is the few lines of code 19 lines of code trust me to achieve this in other programming languages would take you more than 19 lines of code this is why if you are interested in computer vision machine learning deep learning you must use python because it has matured libraries that are very expressive and concise in nature so you are able to achieve more with less so thank you once again for making it this far thanks for watching and i'm going to show you how to get the uh, color histogram of a colored image okay so thanks and see you in the next video